Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will discuss the construction and conversion of a little machineshop.com high torque 3990 milling machine to CNC. I started this project by purchasing the solid column conversion kit, saddle, table, spindle box and spindle castings all from littlemachineshop.com. These parts are also available through Grizzly for less money but if you want the larger table and the R8 spindle, you need to get the Sieg parts direct from littlemachineshop.com. The mill base is mounted on 2 inch rubber isolator pads and these were purchased through Princess Auto here in Canada. Having not purchased a fully assembled mill, I hadn't figured out what kept the gibs from sliding out. Possibly just tension? Anyways. Having purchased the hardware from Fastenal, I went with cone point set screws instead of dog point and used a centering drill to create a seat for the set screws. Rather than go with the CNC Fusion conversion kit, I decided to use standard Chinese ball screws and ball screw end mounts. For the Y axis, I'm using a FK10 end mount and an SFU 1204-128 millimeter ball screw. The Y-axis ball screw is connected to the Y-axis saddle via a 5 8 inch by 1.5 by 3 inch long steel plate. And I cut the hole in the middle for the ball screw using a 22 millimeter carbide hole saw temporarily installing the ball screw nut to transfer four of the six holes onto the plate and then tap them to receive the M4 cap screws. The x-axis ball screw nut is an SFU 1204-500 mm and is connected to the saddle by enlarging two of the holes on the ball screw nut to match the existing six mm threaded holes in the saddle casting. Now drilling through hardened nut was extremely difficult and I had to use a diamond grinding bit for a Dremel multi-tool. I ended up wrapping the entire ball screw in painter's tape to prevent this grinding dust from entering the ball screw. And the heads of the cap screws were also machined down to an 8 millimeters to clearance the ball screw nut. The x-axis ends are built from quarter inch thick cold rolled steel Drilled and tapped to accept the NEMA 23KL23H267-30-4A stepper motor and flex coupling at one end, and the BK10 fixed ball screw end supports on the other. The Z axis is screwed directly to the back of the vertical column. It consists of a standard 57mm steel mounting bracket for the NEMA 23 stepper motor which is a KL23H2100-35-4A. The fixed side is a BK12, and the floating side is a BF12 ball screw end support, and the ball screw is an SFU1605 by 400 millimeter. The ball screw is attached to the spindle box casting via a quarter inch aluminum angle and a standard ball screw nut mount. It will eventually mount to a 40 pound gas strut to counterweight the weight of the headstock. These are the stepper motor end covers purchased from dyengineering.com. These are the IP64. The motor is a Konsu CSM1000 550 watt brushless sewing machine motor. It's rated at 3 quarter horsepower and has an infinitely variable speed from 0 to 4200 RPM. It's connected to the spindle via a Fenner corn inch round polyurethane belt. The stepper motor control box is an old amplifier purchased from Value Village for 20 bucks. And the controller is a Gecko G540 powered by a 48 volt 10 amp switch and power supply. My computer is a Panasonic Toughbook CF30 running Windows XP and Mach 3 as a control software. 
pendant is a iMock 3 P1AS purchased from VistaCNC.com.